example 3.22 figure gives a speed time graph of a particle in motion along a constant direction three equal intervals of time are shown in which interval is the average acceleration greatest in magnitude in which interval is the average speed greatest choosing the positive direction as the constant direction of motion give the signs of v and a in the three intervals what are the accelerations at the points a b c and d okay now see here the graph that is of speed versus time so as the change in speed is greatest in interval number 2 here the slope in this time interval that is greatest one so magnitude of average acceleration that will be greatest in this interval 2 now average speed that is greatest in time interval 3 because this one is the graph of speed versus time and here corresponding to this time interval 3 if we take the value of the speed from the graph then it will be greatest one then v is positive in all the three intervals because corresponding to all these three intervals if we take the values of speed from the graph then all the values will be positive a is positive in the intervals 1 and 3 because in interval 1 and 3 if we find out the slope then the slope will be positive one but in this interval 2 if we find out the slope of this graph then that is negative so we can say acceleration is negative in second time interval now at the points a b c d here if you want to find the acceleration then exactly at the points a b c and d you have to draw the tangents to the graph and then we have to find out the slope of it but the points a b c and d are such that if you draw the tangents at all these points then tangents will be parallel to time axis so slope of each tangent drawn at a b c d that will be equal to 0 and therefore acceleration that is 0 at a b c and d clear